solve for input a function given an output. Okay, so we're given this equation f of x equals negative x minus 5, and we're being asked to solve for x when f of x equals negative 6. So what they're saying here, remember we changed f of x used to mean y, right? So they're asking when y is negative 6 or when this side of our equal sign is negative 6, what number are you going to plug in to get there? Okay, and this one you might be able to do in your head, but um, let's just go ahead and do it uh, on paper anyway. So f of x equals, what is it, negative x minus 5. And I know they're asking me to find when f of x is negative 6, right? So now I'm going to do my inverse operations to solve to get x all by itself, right? So I'm going to do sadmep. to think, help me think through those inverse operations. So the first thing I'm gonna get rid of as attached to my x is the added or subtracted term, right? And I'm gonna do that by making it go to zero. So the opposite of minus five is plus five, right? I would have to add five to make that go to zero. And I know that in order for that to be a legal math move, I have to do it to both sides of my equal sign so that I'm using those properties of equality, right? So negative six plus five, that gives me negative one. I'm left with negative x. Negative five plus five is zero, and that's you know my quick check along the way to know that I am doing it right. I came up with that zero. Okay, that was what I wanted. So I have negative one equals negative x. Well, I need to get rid of this negative because I want to have x all by itself. So I need to think about what that really means. And what it really means is I have a negative 1 that's being multiplied by my x. So I'm going to get rid of that by doing the opposite, which is dividing. And if I do it to one side of my equal sign, I do it to both. Negative 1 divided by negative 1 leaves me with a positive 1. Negative 1 divided by 1 leaves me with 1x. So when my output is negative 6, my input should be just 1. Okay, let's try another problem. Let me see here. Um, some of these you can do in your head pretty easily. Okay, so let's try this one. This one's not so easy to do in your head. So we have f of x equals 5x minus 3. five x minus three, and they wanna know what is our input when the output is seven, right? So my output is seven, five x minus three. So solving this, I'm gonna do my inverse operations to get rid of things that are attached to my x. So the first thing I'm gonna get rid of is that minus three because that's in my addition, added or subtracted um, category. I'm gonna do the opposite of minus three, which is plus three. If I do it to one side of the equal sign, I do it to both, right? So seven plus three is 10. And then negative three plus three is zero. And that's my check along the way to know that I am doing the steps right. right? So now I wanna get rid of that five. I can see my five is attached to my x by multiplication. The opposite of multiplying is dividing. Using my properties of equality, if I do it to one side of my equal sign, I have to do it to both. 10 divided by five, gives me 2. 5 divided by 5 hey, is 1x. Hey, mommy, welcome to my birthday. Welcome to your birthday. Thanks, bud. All right, I'm going to go ahead and type that in to check to see, did I get it right? Delta Math likes my answer. Can I get a high five? Yeah. Yeah. Happy birthday over here, chicken.